Hello everyone, Jamie at Cluey Amateurs here, and today we're doing some power tests on this. This is my Webley Junior air pistol that I restored at the tail end of last year. If you didn't see that video, I will put a link in the description and also at the end of this video. I've also since put up a video of me shooting this um, at some targets with both darts and pellets. So when I was restoring this, my chronograph, my HTX3000, ceased to function. It just gave up the ghost, wouldn't work, um, so we didn't have a final power figure for it. We don't know what power it was putting out once I finished the restoration. However, um, don't know what happened to it, but my chronograph is now working again. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some pellets through it and see what muzzle energy we're putting out. Now, I will still be using these cheap SMK Spitfire pellets. These are an 8 grain pellet. Um, I have just pretty much run out of all of my good JSB pellets and won't be likely to pick any up until lockdown ends and I can shoot again. So we're going to put five shots through the chronograph and see what sort of power we're putting out. Okay then, so got some results there and they're, in my opinion, pretty respectable. So we had values which fall in the 290 FPS range up to 300 FPS. Now based on the fact that the Spitfires are an 8 grain pellet, if we do a quick uh, power calculation, a foot-pounds calculation, we find that those values are all falling in the 1.5 to 1.6 foot-pound range. Now, that's not very powerful at all, really. Uh, it's a quarter of the UK legal limit for air pistols. You can own an air pistol pushing up out power up to six foot pounds. However, if we compare this to the gun before the restoration, this is actually a huge improvement. Partway through the restoration, once I just got it firing, I put a couple of 8.4 grain pellets through this and was guessing, I believe it was around 194, 195 FPS, which equates to a power of just 0.7 foot pounds. So an increase in output of 100 feet per second equates to more than doubling the um, muzzle energy to that 1.5, 1.6 foot-pound mark. Now, something else I would like to try with this, and it's probably not the best idea I've ever had, but we're going to give it a go anyway, is firing some 4.5 millimeter steel ball bearings. Now, we can't just pop these straight in the barrel, and I'll show you why. Unlike a pellet, these do not completely fill the breech, so they drop straight through. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a 6mm neodymium magnet, pop it there, in this quarter inch gap underneath the barrel. So now when we place in our ball bearing, obviously I'm doing this with the gun not cocked, it stays there, held in place by the magnet. Now, this probably isn't the best idea. Um, while this gun doesn't have any rifling to damage, it's probably unwise to shoot steel ball bearings from a gun that wasn't designed for it, but we are going to give it a go just to see what happens. Okay, so a slightly underwhelming result there. So that was a um, muzzle velocity of 272 feet per second, and these full bearings only have a weight of 5 grains. So that means we're just putting out 0.8 foot-pounds here, so half of what we were achieving with the lead pellets. Now there are a couple of reasons for this. It's having to overcome the drag of the strong magnet holding it in place, and also as we saw it doesn't completely fill the breech, so you'll have air escaping around the ball bearing um, and not just propelling it along the barrel. So probably not wise to try shooting ball bearings out of a gun like this, but I thought it would be worth a try just to see what happened. Um, that's about it for today. It's been a pretty short one today. Um, please do check out the restoration of this gun if you haven't already, and do also check out the outdoor shooting footage of this gun, which is probably a little bit more exciting than what we've been doing here today. That's all for today though, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed producing the videos with these guns, this gun, and hopefully there are more to come. 
Um, to make sure that you catch those, please do hit the subscribe button. I've really enjoyed uh, seeing subscribers joining the channel, get excited every time I see a new one, and I've also really enjoyed conversing with you guys in the comments. A uh, particular thanks go to Not Notwalk David, who commented on the original restoration video and explained to me that I needed to soak the new seal in oil. Um, that was really helpful and has got the gun running and shooting a lot more smoothly. So, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Please do comment, like, subscribe. I've been Jamie, this has been Cluey Amateurs, and I'll see you next time.